Welcome back to the channel, HBRV Lifestyle. Of course, I'm your honey badger, John Levingston, just giving to you straight in the RV business. And today I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover RV generators again, because I'm getting a lot of folks that are giving me a lot of bashing, saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to read the bill. It doesn't include generators. I'm gonna go over a press release that was released by RV Industry Association and RV Dealer Association, so RVIA and RVDA, regarding this. Okay, let's start with this. As it's hearing on Thursday, December 9th, the California Air Resources Board, CARB, passed Resolution 21-13-2, as amended at the hearing to approve the proposed amendments to the small off-road engine, S-O-R-E regulation. So what I'm spreading is not fake news. It's right here in print by the RV industry itself. The SOAR regulation applies to all spark ignition, sorry, spark ignition engines less than 25 horsepower. All gasoline and propane powered RV generators are impacted by this regulation. However, diesel generators are exempt. The amendments approved by CARB will ban the gas LP engines traditionally used in RV generators effective with the 2028 certification. Now, if you go back to my first video on this, how it reads is that they have to cut emissions by 2024 by 40%. So there may be a possibility that they get banned a little bit sooner. We'll stand by for that. But by 2028, they must reach zero emissions. Okay. By the way, I cover that in this video right here. Despite efforts by the RVIA, and others to have RV generators exempted from this regulation, the ban was approved by the board as proposed by the CR CARB staff. Okay, so let's scroll down just a minute. And I wanna go over this next paragraph. This next paragraph is very important, okay? Though the proposed amendments were not revised at the hearing, meaning they did not exempt RV generators, the board did direct staff to report annually on the status of compliance and the progress being made or not being made in developing zero emission solutions. Staff was also directed to issue a more detailed technology readiness assessment by 2025 to 2026. If this readiness assessment finds that the technology needed for compliance in 2028 is unlikely to be available, then at that moment, they may be considered to adjust the timeline, not adjust the law, adjust the timeline. It is important to note that starting in 2022, the regulation will make it possible for RV manufacturers and suppliers to earn, uh, to earn bank credits by offering alternatives to traditional SOAR powered generators. To have the credits recognized by the CIRB, companies providing zero emission solutions, whether they are RV manufacturer or supplier, will need to certify the system with CARB. Okay, let me just go into this. Let me recap. California's gonna have a mass exodus of people, their RVers, real quick. Or you're gonna see RV manufacturers have to change everything nationally. I talked to some people, I'm gonna keep their names anonymous on the RV manufacturing side. And one of the ideas that I would like to pass on to you, my viewer, is in the comment section, I want you to tell me whether you like this idea or not. My idea only can be done with toy haulers right now. I have not come up with an idea for motorhomes yet. But on a toy hauler, if you are a toy hauler, future buyer, and I told you that you were gonna have a diesel generator with a 20 gallon tank that is only fed for that generator, and you have a 20 gallon fuel station tank that's completely separate, gasoline only, would that be a good idea? Would that be something you would be interested in purchasing? So let me clarify. 
in the comments below let me know if a diesel generator with its own separate tank let's call it a 20 gallon tank and a 20 gallon gasoline tank that is separate only for the fuel station you'd have a green cap to tell you fill it up with diesel you'd have a black cap for that that tells you it fills up gasoline would that be something you're interested in leave your comments below and then right here, if you look up here, that's the video that covers portable generators and that ban, which is part of the same progress. And happy Christmas, sorry, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, folks.